And the Game Award goes to... Read it, boy. Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Caboose bringing you another Marvel's Avengers video. And today, what I got for you guys here is some pretty huge news for the upcoming Black Panther DLC. We got some brand new screenshots of the character to take a look at, an announcement of the voice actor who's going to be playing Black Panther, as well as a ballpark of how long the expansion is going to be. Before we jump into all this, wanted to ask you guys, of course, if at any point you enjoy the video, if you could consider leaving a like rating on it, it would show your support, and I would really appreciate it. So if you enjoy the video at any point, leaving a like rating would be awesome. And also if you're new here and you enjoy Marvel's Avengers or are at least interested in what's coming for the game, well then I got you covered. I've been making and will continue to make videos on all the news and updates for the game. And I also got a ton of other content going up on the channel like reactions, videos covering games like Gotham Knights, Suicide Squad, Kill the Justice League, the upcoming Guardians of the Galaxy game, all that. If you're new to the channel and you like what you're hearing, also consider hitting that subscribe button and turning on those notifications to be immediately notified when a video goes live. Lastly, reminding you guys, I am sponsored by G Fuel. Grab yourself some shaker cups, starter kits, cans, tubs, whatever you might want to get. Use that link in the description box below and use code Caboose at checkout. With that being said, let's get into this because we got quite a bit to cover today for the Black Panther expansion. So an article dropped this morning from Entertainment Weekly that is packed with exclusive information from them, namely who is going to be voicing King T'Challa himself in the Marvel's Avengers War for Wakanda expansion. And while it turns out in a brand new screenshot revealing as well the face of King T'Challa for this DLC, we have found out that Christopher Judge is going to be voicing the character. That's right, Kratos himself is going to be the voice of Black Panther in Marvel's Avengers, and to be honest, I think this is perfect. We've already gotten to hear a bit of Christopher Judge's performance as the character through some trailers, and to be honest, from what we've heard so far, Christopher Judge, he's nailing it already. He is a world-class talent in voice acting, and I'm so glad that Crystal Dynamics has him on board for Marvel's Avengers. I can't wait to hear what his full performance is going to be like in this game. And there's actually quite a bit in this article from Entertainment Weekly that we're going to be going over, specifically from Christopher Judge himself, about playing the role of T'Challa. I'm not going to recite the entire article, so if you want to read it for yourself, it's going to be linked in the description box below, but let's go over some key things that I noticed. Here's a quote from Christopher Judge about taking the role of T'Challa in Marvel's Avengers. He said, I turned it down straight away. There are many Black Panthers, but I really didn't believe that anyone should ever do T'Challa again after Chadwick Boseman. The actual talks proceeded and basically I wound up doing it because my mother and my children said if I didn't do it, they would disown me. That's pretty great. I'm glad that he is doing this for a good reason and that he was kind of convinced to by his own mom and his children. I think that's nice. And beyond that, very classy of Christopher Judge to have turned down this role in the first place. This is such a massive part to have in Marvel's Avengers and some big shoes to fill, no doubt about it. But for him to have turned down the role because he wanted there to be some sort of immortalization of Black Panther through Chadwick Boseman, I think that's really nice. Although I, of course, am looking forward to Christopher Judge playing this character, and in general, in the future, when we get potential animated series or wherever we may see Black Panther show up again where somebody would be playing the character, I look forward to that. But I think we can all agree that no matter what, Chadwick Boseman will always be Black Panther. Rest in power. Continuing with the article, Christopher Judge also said, to be quite honest, I was fearful of being compared to what Chadwick had so wonderfully done. The only way I could really wrap my head around it was to not even attempt a voice match, to let my performance stand on its own. I put all that into it, and hopefully people like it. Then to accompany that quote, we get a brand new screenshot of Black Panther looking awesome. I have said this before, this is the best base design I think we've gotten for any of the characters in the game so far. And it also looks like Black Panther's got some sort of spear or staff there. I wonder if that's gonna be incorporated into the gameplay in some way. Maybe he pulls that out through his ultimate. That's gonna be really interesting to see. The environment also looks beautiful. I can't wait to be exploring Wakanda in some way. And I'm looking forward to seeing what Crystal Dynamics has done with this expansion. They they have mentioned in a blog post just a couple of days ago that there isn't a single reused texture or anything like that in this DLC. It's all brand new, stuff that they have created from scratch. Also in the EW article, we got some quotes from Evan Narcisse. I hope that I'm pronouncing that correct. I apologize if I am not, who is actually the writer of Marvel Comics Rise of the Black Panther, 
and as well was credited on Marvel's Spider-Man Miles Morales. It's exciting to note that he is also writing and working on the War for Wakanda expansion for Marvel's Avengers, and he was quoted here in the article saying, I want to double down on the idea that this is its own iteration of the Black Panther mythos. Even if you know the comics and can quote the movie by heart, there are still going to be some surprises. We also got a bit of an idea as to how this connects to the main campaign of the game, and as well what the ramifications of A-Day apply to Wakanda and Black Panther. The DLC is supposed to take place five years after the events of A-Day, and we also got some information here in the article that mentions that T'Challa's kingdom was in negotiations with Steve Rogers to ally with the Avengers. But with Cap's death, or quote-unquote death, it brought a change of heart for the most technologically advanced nation on Earth. They close off their borders to the rest of the world once again. In the DLC, however, T'Challa has no choice but to enter the fray when the corrupt corporation AIM, headed by Dr. Tarleton, aka Modoc, hires Ulysses Claw to procure Vibranium. Part of me is a little excited about this because of course we're getting Claw in the DLC and we know that that is a notorious Black Panther villain and I'm looking forward to facing off against him in the expansion. But part of me is also frustrated that we didn't see any of that in the main campaign for this game. For a game that is meant to be games as a service and of course setting up future content, I am surprised that there was literally nothing, not a single breadcrumb left to give us a hint that we are going to be going into this Black Panther DLC with ramifications from the main campaign and stuff that MODOK has done. Maybe it's because they wanted to keep things a surprise, but it would have been nice to have that little Easter egg in there, especially considering all the things that they did within the Hawkeye DLC, having Black Panther's helmet right there at the throne of Maestro. I don't know, not something that I'm really losing too much sleep over, but definitely frustrating nonetheless that there wasn't any setup for what's going down in this DLC, especially considering it's pretty much direct tied to the stuff that we've seen in the main campaign with MODOK. Moving on though, the article gives mention as well to how long the expansion for War for Wakanda is going to be. However, this is a misquote. There is a tweet from somebody who's working on the DLC that gives us a more accurate description as to how long we can expect it to be, and we'll talk about that here in just a moment. Here's what's mentioned in the article. War for Wakanda adds a new single-player campaign that runs more than 25 hours. That is something that is misquoted here. There will be new adversaries, including two central villains that McLeod calls a robot bust cast of Wakandans like the Dora Milaje and Sorcerer Zawavari, locations like Shuri's Laboratory and the Wakandan War Room, and new missions for the Drop Zone and Threat Sector. Now here's some information from somebody who's actually working on the game, Keanu Robin. I apologize if I'm mispronouncing that name as well. Somebody tweeted asking, wait, it's over 25 hours of the campaign, or was that some kind of error in communication? And Keanu responded, the EW story is great, but the 25 hours figure is a misinterpretation of a number meant to describe the entire story campaign from the core release through the War for Wakanda expansion. The campaign is great though, some of my favorite writing is in it. That's right, so that figure of 25 hours was meant to give us an idea as to how long the story will be for Marvel's Avengers if you were to play the main campaign, the first operation in Kate Bishop, the second operation in Hawkeye, and then the War for Wakanda expansion. That still does clock in if we were to calculate everything, as some people have mentioned in the replies of that tweet, at around potentially 10 hours. I guess we'll have to wait and see. The expansion drops in August, so it's not that long of a wait, but if we are getting a 10-hour DLC and it's all for free, there is some serious value there. I know everyone has their problems with Marvel's Avengers, and believe me, so do I, but to be getting a free expansion that has 10 hours worth of content is not bad at all. Major if though, we don't know if it's going to be exactly 10 hours, but I mean, even if the expansion is somewhere around five hours of content, that's not bad as well. I don't wanna give too much credit because there are still some issues with this game, some stuff that really needs to be addressed, namely the prices in the marketplace, that stuff needs to be toned down, but I am always willing to give credit where credit is due. Marvel's Avengers has gone on a couple of sales since its launch. I know that in some places it's like $25 to get your hands on the game, which is not bad at all given the amount of content that's in there right now and the amount of content that is to come. We also got another screenshot here of Black Panther from the article holding that spear once again and oh my god he just looks so badass. He just looks so badass. I can't wait to try out this character. And that just about sums up the news roundup that I got for you guys here today but there's so much more in the article that I didn't cover in this video so I highly recommend you check it out. The link is going to be in the description below. There's some great stuff in the article. Highly highly recommend it. There's a part from Christopher Judge describing a moment where he was meant to record some dialogue for the character, but after they had learned about the passing of Chadwick Boseman, 
he just decided to sit there and have a chat with the folks at Crystal Dynamics, I imagine, which seemed really nice, something that was very therapeutic for them both. Rest in power, Chadwick Boseman. We hope that this DLC some way honors him as that character and in general, the character of Black Panther. And with all that said, I now want to kick it to you guys. Let me know your thoughts on everything here in the comment section below. First of all, what do you think of Kratos himself voicing T'Challa in this game? What do you think as well of the face of T'Challa? We got to see that in a screenshot. Speaking of, let me know your thoughts on those new screenshots that we got to see. And as well, just in general, all the details that we got out of this EW article. I want to hear all you guys sound off in the comments below. And of course, if you enjoyed today's video, if you could consider leaving a like rating on it, it would show your support. And I would really appreciate it i'm caboose and you can click on screen to make your way to one of the other videos on the channel or you can click my logo to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already you can also follow me on instagram and twitter those links are going to be in the description drop a like if you enjoyed leave a comment if you have an opinion and subscribe if you're new see you guys later